Welcome back to All Indiana, all the Friday vibes. All right, the great American food truck race All Stars just kicked off, and the battle is on for 50 grand. Which four wheels will come out on top? That's the question. I cut up with the host, Tyler Florence. Check it out. Well, there's a brand new road battle happening, and Tyler Florence joins us now to tell us all about it. Tyler, it's great to see you. Mackenzie, so good to see you. How you doing? I am fantastic. We are loving this great American uh, food truck race. All stars. Okay, so we have to dive right in. I know the series, you have six episodes coming to us, uh, just debuted on the sixth. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the show for those who aren't familiar and just want to get involved. So um, if, if you're not familiar with the show, A, where you been? Uh, it's been on for 14 <laughs> seasons already. Right. And B, you, it, this, is, this is the best time to jump into the series, right? So this is our all-star race. So mm -hmm. um, out of uh, all of our champions that we've had for 13 seasons back to back, we invited seven of them to go head to head here in the San Francisco Bay Area. That's where I'm coming to you uh, live right now. And uh, it was just such an amazing competition. So it was the best of the absolute best great chefs great concepts great competition really incredible food all going head to head for the chance uh and the title of uh best food truck champion of all time and fifty thousand dollars on the line it's That's so a much huge fun. deal i was just going to say not only the the title and the but you also get fifty thousand dollars okay so tell why do you think food trucks are just the the rage the phenomenon i lived on the west coast for a long time really big there trickling here into the <clears> midwest but i mean people i mean food trucks the concept why do you think it pops off so right now, and I'm so proud of the great food truck race, because right now there are over 47,000 active food trucks in America. And the great food truck race has had so much to do with that and really create an epic fan base for the genre. So the show's been on since 2010. And the big pivot started to happen around 2008. Uh, when the economic downturn, unfortunately, closed a bunch of restaurants, but chefs just, you know, hungry for work, kind of moved from four walls to four wheels and just didn't stop. They started creating this really kind of fun new pop culture phenomenons called food trucks. And now they're all over the world. And, you know, some of the best chefs in Paris now have food trucks and even 11 Madison Park, which is one of the greatest restaurants in the world in New York City just started a vegan food truck about two weeks ago. Wow. So it's never been a hotter genre. And, and so and, and it's never been a really better time to get in. And, and you get four or five food trucks together on a Friday night downtown someplace. And it really kind of feels like a party. It's and a party, Bob. That's like the, right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and, and they're like great for like catering events. And, you know, mm -hmm. people are opting to have food trucks for weddings instead of a big formal sit down dinner. And they're just cool. I, and I just love mm -hmm. it. And so we're so excited to be a part of it uh, from a, a, a you know, cultural phenomenon standpoint. And, you know, the great food truck race is great family entertainment. And it's just so much fun to watch these chefs just go head to head, oh, uh, especially this season, because like these are the best we've ever had. The creme de la creme, if you say Ma, chef's kiss. I love that you said from four uh, wheels to four wheels. And now what do you love most, Tyler, about hosting this show? Because you add so much pizzazz to it and it's already an incredible concept. You know, um, my favorite thing to do is to mentor our, uh, our, our trucks, right? So the okay. teams will get together and, you know, and, and luckily I've, I've had a, a very, you know, uh, successful career, you know, some ups and some downs and certainly learn from all of it. Sure. They get a chance to share my experiences, uh, with young startups as they're kind of coming up through the ranks and, you know, really kind of developing their business model. And I keep up with all of them. I'm friends with all of them. They all have my cell phone numbers, my emails. And, and so, to be able to kind of coach them from time to time when they've got questions it's the most satisfying part of all of it and that part's not even on television it's just things that i just i just do because i just like them so much and i see how hard they work so uh, that that without a doubt is to, you know to see their success and to watch them you know take some of my advice and then kind of blend it with their own instincts and do great things with it it's the most satisfying part of all of it. well your passion certainly exudes through the screen what is it what is a piece of advice that you might give offer now to someone who's like i've always wanted to do this and start up a food truck well, I, I think if you want to start a food truck, what you really want to do is you want to start a restaurant. And I think mm -hmm. that's where you want to think about it, right? So, um, you know, because uh, I listen, I'm I'm successful. Raising money for restaurants is is hard for everybody, sure. um, especially if you've never done it before, right? So you have to have sort of a proof of concept. And that's what a uh, food truck really offers you as a young startup restaurateur is just to get your idea out there. Start uh, a good social media program, develop a following, and really hone 
hone your craft and, and really hone your particular genre of food. And, and based on the success of that, then you can take that to investors and say, listen, we've been running the food truck for, you know, 18 months now. We've been killing it. Success, success, success. We're ready to move into a brick and mortar. And you've got something to really show for yourself that's not as expensive as losing three or $4 million if your restaurant doesn't work. Right. So that to me is what I, I would really kind of give people advice at. If you really want to start a food truck, it's not just a food truck. It's it's a, it's a the back door into a brick and mortar restaurant business that, that feels you know uh, obtainable and easy to start. Oh my goodness, you know, food trucks make me happy. Right? <laughs> they really do. I like that. I mean, this is a fierce battle happening. And it's really fun to see like the concept and what they create. I wish that they would go just like specific cities. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would love for them to do one of those food truck races here in Indianapolis. Wouldn't that we be have cool? We have some, uh, some like amazing food trucks. I really enjoy I would love first to see Fridays. It. Like first Fridays when all the trucks line up. Okay. And of course, I lived on the West Coast for a bit. It was a hot thing. That was like everyone had lunches and yeah. other things. So we got to support them because yes. they work really hard and this is a great show to check out. I love